Well, 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 what's up, my little train engineers? Yeah, I'm moving the microphone a little bit closer, but not so close that it's in the way of my tiny rails. So, hello, 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 and welcome back. Look, so today we're going to tackle a couple of topics. We're going to look at some changes in the game, and, uh, and we're going to just basically... Um, basically have a chit chat and play for a little bit man i know it's probably been about two weeks since i put out a version i'm anxiously awaiting the steam version of tiny rails i'm gonna start a little new series on that and show what uh, that way we can go over some of the secrets and things like that as well get some gameplay in uh so anyway without further ado let's pop some of our uh Let's pop a little free roll and see what we got. I still need a couple of uh, a couple of trains from the free roll here, and uh, and I'll show you after this station, and I'm gonna show you why that I'm here actually. So we are gonna drop some corn off. And we're gonna pick up everything else, um, and then so here so here's I get this question a lot. Be like, how do you how do you 100% the regions? How do you you know how do you get everything in? Um, playtime and, and how do you juggle work and all that stuff and so so here I'm gonna talk to you just a little bit about the game uh, for those of you that might be new so the whole idea of the game I'm gonna pop out into the map real quick um, is to complete objectives and deliver cargo right so if you look like you'll see there's Japan that's a new one I have not unlocked Asia North yet um, but I do have like all of Russia unlocked Europe unlocked uh, Canada the US uh, down into um, Central America into this side and so you can see where all the little um, if I tap on one like let's say right there at Havana you can see how it's uh, got on the right hand side upgrades and its passengers gold bonus and so that's one of the things that you have to unlock in the game and so if you look and I zoom in on Mexico you can see that there are some other stations that are just yellow dots and white dots and that means that they've not been upgraded yet right so if you look at the top there's a yellow dot that means it's been upgraded once there's the small house, that means it's upgraded twice, and the big house is the third upgrade, right? And those correspond within the regions. If you click this open and look at the story mode, there you go on the bottom. So it's like, you know, after you get your upgrades, the second and third, um, you can see in Mexico I have eight more um, to max out, and I've got uh, a few more <laughs> to, to upgrade. So you got the total upgrades, 56 out of 102 there. Um, and the overall progress at 57 is pretty low, but if you look at the amount of cargo left, uh, that's where you're going to find your biggest percent of overall, and that's where you're going to make your money to buy stuff. So as we're talking about regions, that's uh, just kind of one thing that you really, really, really want to keep in mind, right? So um, and then if you look around the different regions, you can see that uh, I don't really want to go to the military base here. Do I need to put, nope, nothing up there. Uh, uranium up there so I need to kind of start making my way down to the Asia Depot uh, we need to drop some stuff off and pick some stuff up and that's something we could talk about for these right so how far is this next trip Ooh, that's a pretty far one we're gonna pop the double here um, we're gonna go in let's uh, let's unlock some of this stuff buy cargo is maxed out now that's very nice um, and I still need uh, a lot of the moments and I still need two different secrets, so if anybody knows where these two are at down here, hook a brother up on the comments, please. I want to finish those and get them knocked out. Um, the training area, we can pop into here real quick while we're stopped. Uh, that's not the training area, actually. That's the, uh, where you build your train, but I had an upgrade to do. So uh, we're going to pop that upgrade. And so right now I'm running a full cargo train. So at the top, you can see that I'm 18 of 18. I'm only pushing 36% or pulling 36% weight. Um, I can only hold 66 passengers and 35 of those are taken and then I have 248 cargo out of 418 and that's the important thing uh, since we're running the full cargo train um, we're trying to complete some of these regions I'm gonna show you what I focus on on there so let's go ahead and pop this to maximize profits for a little bit of time while we're playing and then get all this snow stuff so basically what I did was I increased my gold I increased speed by 25% I put TNT on obstacles which is also one of the secrets if you do happen to get a cow in you can blow the cow up and that gives you the cow boom so now we're gonna go to Nizhnevozhevosk and uh, because I have the speeds racked up and the double speed, um, we're going to be able to click well over 500 miles an hour. We're topping at 573 miles per hour, so uh, not bad. And so I do have Doc's time machine up here, and of course uh, the snowplow for this area. So if I pull them, if I let them run back, that's the snowplow on the front, Doc's time machine. 
as well as the caboose. And so I think this was a speed daily, right? And so while we're in here, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the dailies as well. Because I want you guys to know how to make the most amount of money and, and make the most out of the game while you're playing it, right? So... Um, these daily jobs in here, you, I mean, look, earn gold from passengers in any city. That's simple. The next stop, we're going to earn money, you know, and there's usually a time. Uh, take a fisherman to markets. I don't do the, the markets things or go buy sushi or run people all over here. Um, this one is buy a rare plasma core from Oblast. See special sushi and spin gold. We'll get the spin gold one. And then what I would normally do is I would normally watch the refresh video to get some three better quests in there. I'm just going to go ahead for the sake of time. Um, I'm not in Canada West. I don't do train repairs, no sushi, but another spin gold, right? So we can do that, and that's spin two million. So let's go ahead and refresh it again, and then let's see what we got. Make the train go faster than 541. We can do that right away. Um, earn gold from passengers in any city, and then I think that's going to take us to 10 of 10. Yep. So while we're going to the next station, we're going to go ahead and complete that uh, that quest for speed, right? There we go. So we're going to take this off and go back into the dailies, and look. And that also gives a plus two upgrade to um, to what's her face. We'll uh, we'll get her name here in a second. Old Sophia, right? The mechanic. She's level four, so she increases speed by four percent. So if you're going to go 200 miles an hour, now you can go 208 miles an hour. She's also going to have the modifier of 25 percent. So you're going to take the 25 percent um, off of like let's say 200 miles an hour again, just an easy number. Now you're going to go 258 miles an hour. Uh, that's pretty substantial once you level that up. And then, of course, if you look at the other guys, he's going to increase cargo drop by six. Every time you blow up a rock on the tracks or something, you're going to get six more cargo, which doesn't sound like a lot, but over time really, really, really adds up. And so I would recommend um, getting these guys up there. Now, it looks expensive, and you're like, B, I don't want to buy all those blue gems and spend all that money or whatever. Dude, Tiny Titan Studios makes a killer game and they give you thousands of opportunities to collect all these gems that you need these little blue gems so let's just say if I go into this station and they need uh, wood and I got 13 to 25 so I go in BAM hit them with some wood um, I'm gonna collect and sometimes it's five gems sometimes it's ten gems sometimes it's other stuff um, but if you complete these stops they're gonna give you like a ton of gems and look look at all these stops you can tell me that you're gonna give you a ton of gems on there so I would say as far as buying stuff you know uh, it's a free game I would definitely throw them like uh, I'll, t I'll show you uh, let's go into the station real quick <clears throat> And I don't think I need any of the of the, uh, the cargo here, but all I've been doing is I go in and I buy it all, and I'll and I'll tell you why. Because when we get down to the depot, see, you, you know, I need 20 more there, but I would have needed 27 had I not bought it all from the other guys. So, um, and I know for a fact that I don't need copper cables. I'm going to sell those. I don't think I need. You know, I'm not sure. So let's just keep it all for right now, and then uh, we'll move on the train, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So. Um, so what you do is you you plan out your route and you go deliver something and then on the way back to your depot like I am you buy everything and you take it to your depot and you shove it all in your depot so I was up if you look at the past videos I was up at like 3400 3500 cargo in there and I was like okay it's time to start weeding through this seeing what I need and what I don't need to buy out right so if you look at Europe right now like I've completed like a pretty good amount of Europe 79% um, and the only one that I have left are the thousand ones. Let me see. And I don't need any more sausages. I don't. I think it's tea that I need. Yep, tulips and tea. Where's it at? A couple of chickens. There we go. And some some tea cargo. So like, but on this top row, I don't need any of those. Maybe the lemons. I have a place in called Tayuman or where is it at? It's somewhere over here. No, nope, not that far. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Can't find it now, of course, when I'm looking for it, B. What are you doing to me? Anyway, it's called Tayuman, and they need a bunch of uh, a bunch of lemons. Okay, so anyway, quit fooling around. But if you click onto your cargo, see on the right-hand side, this never used to happen. Like, it used to show you the city, but you never knew if the city was full or not. Now, if a city's been completed, it drops off this list, and it makes it easy. Because look at Russia. There's only two places in Russia that need the uranium now. You know, and if I go down, it'll tell me if I have items. Look, 
I don't need amber, I don't need copper cables, don't need watches, and don't need chlorine. So at my next stop, when I pop there, I can sell all four of those items, make a profit on them, and not clog up my train with these useless items, right? Or turn around and put them into my depot, because that's not needed either. That's that's just crazy talk. So, um, so what I would say to you is is go through, get these stations, and what I'll do is I'll tap in between them, uh, get the train moving. 323, even without the five gem boost, is, is pretty smoking, so... The good old days when you used to be able to speed hack it, I'd have like 1,700 miles per hour, and man, I I should have taken advantage of that while it was uh, while it was a glitch. That's for sure. I could have ran these stations up in no time, man, no time at all. So anyway, Tiny Titan Studios, if you want to give me the hack, like give me the key combination, the up down up down left right left right A B start, like the old contra super contra code, hook a brother up because I can need some speed. All right, so we're gonna hit this next station, and I'll show you basically how to uh, how to get it rolling here. And I'd really like to get into the depot to show you the depot too. So so hang tight, and uh, and we'll uh, we'll get over to the depot, and I'll show you how that works as well. What I may do is just cut out the middle section of this video up into the depot, get there quicker for you guys. See, I don't have any sheep, but remember, I don't need copper cables, watches, chlorine, or amber, and so. Uh, get rid of those and so even though they're gonna have them more of this stuff over here Look, there's more chlorine and there's all kinds of amber and stuff on there I don't care like I'm gonna buy it because I'm gonna turn around and sell it in the next city for a profit and then look we're, we're that much closer to um, uh, To being able to buy another station or do another upgrade or whatever it is, right? So let's go ahead and tap old Doc's time machine and get him rolling so um, so what I tell people like uh, this is a video about specifically just knocking out the regions but don't tie yourself to one region like if you, you can only I think it's like an hour countdown timer in the station before it refills and it always seems like it fills up full of just junk you know what I mean like I bought the good stuff and then now I gotta buy 15 whatever ears of corn that I don't even need to put anywhere and so what I just tell people is just to buy it okay here we go ah snowman boo so we'll get rid of the snowman. I wish it would have been a cow so you guys could have seen cow boom. It's pretty awesome. All right, let's get him going back again. So uh, so what I would just tell you is buy everything and sell it in the next town. I know it takes a little bit more effort, but like let's say you're trying to finish off the USA um, over here, and, I, and I'll show you the dilemma that I run into, right? Because I didn't do this in the beginning. They didn't have depots, so I couldn't, I couldn't store up cargo like that. But now you can store it. And so when you come down into places like, um, like Hartford here, where is it at? Like in New York, I need a thousand barbecue. Like that's it's insane. Like there there's not that much barbecue sold throughout. But look, so I also need chickens in Philadelphia, but I'll get made it to five nineteen. So when I look across the map, like look, they don't even sell it here in the USA East. And so as I go down into USA South, you still don't see a lot of chickens or barbecue. So here's one, right? And then like look. I still don't see any chickens, but you're starting to pick up barbecue through here. So you've got to come down through this USA South and click up all these stations with one or none on the barbecue. There's a four, and there's a one. So if you're going to look for chickens, you got to start getting back up into, um, into the USA East over here and pick up... Where is it at? See, I don't even see any chickens through here now. It's horrible, man. Does we need more chickens? Let's see. Are they up in Canada? There we go. So the Canadians are stealing all the chickens, and I've got to come through here and buy them all and take them down into New York and sell them. So anyway, that's how you would um, that's how you would take care of the, of the regions. And now, like when you fill your train up, just go right to a depot, empty it. Like just keep the, the couple items. So now we're at the depot, right? And what I would do is I would take all of these and I would put them in to here even if it's the items that we don't need and I'm going to show you why we still have 13 let's say 1236 spaces left no 34 spaces left uh, for free cargo but now if I scroll see all these are zeros now if you click exit the trains gonna take off and I don't I don't there needs to be a better way to do this but this is the only way I know how now um, is these items won't be sorted by order they'll be a little bit wacky right because now you've added some lacquer boxes and stuff in the overall grand scheme of things, that's not that big of a deal. See, barbecue, I've got 35 tucked away. Um, cows, pigs. 
I don't even think I need pigs anymore. So anyway, I'm going to go back up to the top of the list here and make sure there's nothing creeping up here weird. Um, and I'm going to look and I'm going to say, okay, well, the next thing that I need is uh, is to get rid of strawberries, wheat, and carrots, right? Now, that would take up roughly, I can tell you in a second, the top three items in here. Because remember, we've been collecting them and just, sho just shoving them in the storage. So now we're going to try and get rid of them. Now, I don't really don't want to take this perfume because that's going to put me up at like 370. I won't have any room to buy cargo, right? And that's the name of the game. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and exit from here, and boom, the train's going to take off. So there's no way to get into your map. There's no way to take it. It's just boom, it's off the station. And that's not a bad thing either, right? So now if I go in and I can upgrade Chelyabinsk. So let's go ahead and just upgrade it, right? And because uh, we need to do, so we need to spend gold. See, there we go on our dailies. And now we're gonna plus five on this guy. So, boom, he's plus five. So let's go in and see what that means. That means that um, on here he went from 94 to 99. He went up five ranks on there. Um, and as he gets to 150, he's going to now increase passenger fare. And so I'm gonna just make an assumption it's gonna go to five percent. Doesn't seem like a lot, but for every hundred passengers, which is like two or three stops, boom, you're gonna knock out another piece of gold. I mean, it was like, okay, B, well, that's not a whole lot. But look, we're at 4%, so every 100 will make 104. Now, I'm going to be able to make that money offline because he's already on there. So I do think he's important over time. I think, and I think that's a good amount to, to rock away with. So uh, now we're going to look into our total cargo, and we're going to see that we need, um, in Milan, we need 90, we need strawberries, and Santa Clara, and Samarkand, Uzbekistan, and okay so back on so we're kind of close to Uzbekistan I believe it's gonna be right over here somewhere um, where is it no it's gonna be over this way it's gonna be over here isn't it isn't it do I know my geography do I oh there we go so now you just gotta look for Samarkand and boom you're gonna be on strawberries oh and hey it needs an upgrade now it's maxed out how nice is that so boom you're gonna hit your waypoint it's gonna map the waypoint back there now notice that you're gonna hit all these stops on the way over so we're gonna hit here they don't need anything they need fuel that needs an onion that needs an orange so it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to pick up anything to deliver on the way because I've got some of these knocked out but now when we get to this station it's gonna be 99 out of 150 and here's another pro tip for you let me, uh, what is that weird building in the back, man? Is that a secret? <laughs> I'm kidding, it's, it's not. Um, passengers in, passengers out. All right, so market. Obviously don't need anything, so we're going to skip. But now look, I don't need any of these things either. I've, I've delivered all those except for hockey sticks. I do need them, but I'm going to buy them all. Why? Because I'm going to be able to turn around and sell them on the way. So if you're going to play the game, like let's make the most out of it and let's actually make some money, right? Bada boom. And then we're off to the next town. So, so if I was to take an exit out of the game right now and then go watch a movie or whatever, log back in the game, when I came back in the game, this train will have traveled all the way around this little loop down to Samarkand and uh, and then I'm going to um, deliver these strawberries and then I'll be able to pick it up now I wouldn't if I wasn't playing live I wouldn't be able to pick up all the cargo and everything so I totally recommend um, playing live and, and staying with that so uh, so anyway so that's kind of the, basically the way to do the regions how to make the most out of the depots or whatever now, if there's any questions hit me up in the comments I appreciate you guys staying with me peace